spoiler alert, I'm going to need bags and boards for this one. <laughs> yeah. Box number three, and yeah, no, it's not very exciting so far. Mystery in Space. It's not even super early Mystery in Space. Number 60. There is an early JLA appearance in this series. 82. These are not very popular. But it switches soon. I promise. We're not going to be looking at Mystery in Space the whole time. Actually, I just use the Mystery in Space as protection for the good stuff that's at the bottom here. I'm just going to flick through these quickly and show you. you see how Batman and Detective were influenced by Mystery in Space. It was a very popular topic at the time. This is what, I'm going to guess, 62 or something? Oh, 1960, okay, as early as that. Number 65. So some of these are pretty early. Probably some late 50s here too. This is a, a pretty complete run of Mystery in Space, if anyone's interested. Not too many, I don't think. <clears throat> but I promise I'm going to start boxing in a second. I'm going to see some stuff here that's going to be worth taking time to bag and board. crossed over into this, but I wonder if any other titles do. Ta-da! That is a Golden Age Submariner, number 34. Timely. It's not too bad. This is what, I'm going to say early 50s? Let's see. In 1954, there you go, just before the Silver Age. Um, blurry there. Yeah, 1954. Really cool art. And this is in quite a nice shape. Oh, God, you're going blur again. Come on, wake up, iPhone. See, it's pretty sharp. It's got decent corners, decent spine. It's not super high grade, but it's a timely and it is in the sort of fine to very fine range, which is pretty nice. I'm going to put that in the bag on the board in a second. But what else is here? Another time, the Human Torch, number 36. Again, considering the age of this, it's in pretty decent shape. It's going to press nicely, so it's got a stacking bend. It might have a bit of a hole on the spine there. That's a shame. A bit of a dust shadow. It's going in the bag on the board. Another timely. I'm not talking about Atlas. Sorry, guys. I'm, I'm tired. It's, it's been a really long day. I had a long drive to pick this up. And a uh, sharp cover, which is cool. Nice, nice condition. Look at this. It's a black cover. It's got a little ding at the corner there. But I mean, this is this is 1950 stuff. This is pretty scarce. And now we're switching to Silver Age. This is a hot book right now. First appearance of Catwoman in the Silver Age. I literally a cat fight on the front cover. This is the only issue of Lois Lane that's worth anything. Number 70. This copy is pretty typical for this collection. It's in the sort of 6 to 7 range. Or it will be when it's been pressed. Oh no, it's a heartbreaker. There's a stain on the back cover. Oh, it's probably only a 4 or a 5. Too bad. Needs a bag on the board though. Oh, Adventure 300. That's a key issue. Tales of the Legion Superheroes. This one's always really rough when we get them, so I'm nice. It's nice to see this. This again in the same kind of range that this collection tends to be. And the back cover is free of staining, which is great. Some of these are stained, unfortunately. This is an Aquaman origin issue, Venture Comics, 260, what day is that, late 50s, 59, pretty decent, it's got a bit of a crease on the bottom corner by Superboy's feet unfortunately, 
a bit of stain there, but probably a five, five or a six. It's another adventure, but this is the, the book I'm excited to show you. This is Young Men 24. Return of the Human Torch. I'm guessing it's around mid 50s. Uh, 53. There you go. Another black cover. It has got a bit of a of damage down here, unfortunately. But considering it's black, and it's seven. No, not 70 years old. Ash, watch. I'm too tired. 63 years old. Is that? Is that right? Over 60 years old, anyway. It's been kept really, really nicely. Needs a bag on the board. Another classic Atlas book, Captain America 76. This one sadly has uh, rusty staples, which you can probably see at the centerfold. You can find the centerfold with one hand. You can just see spots there. Can you see that? I'm going the right direction. Yeah, I think so. Come on, there. No, next page. No, next page. <laughs> Oh, come on. Where's the centerfold? It's hard to do this on your own with one hand, I have to say. Is that the centerfold? No. Where are we? Okay, there you go. You can see where the staple's rusting. It's bled onto the page. It's unfortunate. But still, again, a decent copy, probably in VG range with those rusty staples. Now we get into horror. Web of Mystery 11. Is that cool or what? Look at this cover. Wow, giant spider attack. And, as I'm tired of saying, and you're probably tired of hearing, look at the shape. This is, it's got to be in the fine to very fine range unless there's something really nasty happening on the back. And there is not. There's a little bit of spine wear there. Hmm, that's a really cool pre-code horror. What year is that? We have a mystery. Come on, 53, there you go. Pre-code horror. Oh, I told you this was a good box. Action 252, first Supergirl. This one's a bit of a heartbreaker. It's actually really glossy. Clean, nice copy, except and you can see this on, on the camera. At the top there is an old tear and fold over. Pretty see it from the inside. There you go. It's a real shame. I think this would have been like a 6.5 if it hadn't had that. In the back, it's pretty decent. It's got a little scuff down there and stuff. It doesn't really matter with that front cover. I still think I still think this has got a shot at, at 5.0. Once that's been pressed and cleaned, I've seen I've seen copies of DC Silver Age keys with huge tears on that got five O. So this ought to get one. Then another book. This is probably I don't see you see this as often. This is Showcase Eight. This one's even more of a heartbreaker, I'm afraid. It's got serious water damage, but. So you can see the stain there on, on the giant hand, but even so, apart from the water damage, which is pretty, pretty bad, you can see on the back there as well, look. Apart from the water damage, it's in decent shape. It's sort of like, without the water damage, it would be a six. This is an extremely expensive book. It's the second Silver Age appearance of The Flash, Barry Allen, after Showcase 4, which is ridiculously expensive. This is the poor man showcase for. It's uh, it's it's in decent shape. This is probably worth over a thousand bucks, even like this with the stain. Talking of books which are surprisingly expensive, Superman's girlfriend Lois Lane, starring in Showcase, Showcase Nine. It actually has a little hole in the cover, unfortunately. You can see it there. I don't know what that is. Some kind of crap on the cover there. This is another expensive book, although this one's not particularly nice. It's probably a four, five, maybe? 
I don't know if it would get a fibre that little hole, but mm, there's a crease on the corner. Again, first appearance of Lois Lane in the Silver Age. It's expensive. This book has, is probably the only other Lois Lane book apart from Lois Lane 1, which is worth anything. Oh, we have the, another young man here. This is number 26. Sort of continuation of the Return of Human Torch. Again, a black cover. And again, for an early 50s book, pretty decent. It's got a little crease on the corner, but number 24 is in nicer shape. Fantastic Four, number three. I believe it's the first costumes. Yeah, there it even says on the cover. I think this one's also water damaged. It's got some, yeah, staining up there. And corner creases. The back's all right. But that is definitely going into the bag and board in a second. And the keys keep on coming. Green Lantern number one. I don't know what to say about this. I've seen this so many times. It's usually a real beater. This one's got a bit of a rough edge at the top there, but a lot of that will press out. It's not going to fix any of the overhang tears, but it'll flatten out nicely. Is that a crease? Yeah, there's a crease on the bottom corner. Oh, there's a bit of an insect chew or something up there. That's a heartbreaker. Still. Probably a VG copy. Oh, is there another key issue here? God, aren't we doing well? JLA number one. This one is. Oh, it's got a fold over the corner there. That won't go away, but it'll flatten out when it's pressed. And there are a few other dings and general overall wear. There's something down there that there's a bit of a loss of gloss there, but. That will, most of that will press flat. Um, what grade would I give this? It's got a little boundary tear at the top. Is that a stain at the bottom? Maybe there's a stain down there where the gloss is missing. Five. Easy five, isn't it? The spine's alright. Might even get a six when it's been all pressed. But this is the book of the collection. Coming up. Ta da! Brave Mod 28, the first Justice League of America, as you know. This is another heartbreaker. This is an absolute heartbreaker. This is going to be one of the most heartbreaking copies of any book we've ever had. It has such a nice cover. It's clean, mostly flat, but we can press it anyway. It's got sharp edges, almost no creasing. Gorgeous looking copy, and then you turn it over, and everything's good. <laughs> You're like, oh yeah, please, please be free of damage, please be free of damage, please be free of... <clears throat> Look at that stain, oh my god, it's making me weep just looking at it, I don't want to get tears on this as well, the staining, but I mean, look at that, it looks like someone dumped it in a cup of coffee. Oh, it's such a heartbreaker. I don't know what they would grade this. I mean, it's without the stain. It's got to be. It's got to have a shot at seven five. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. There really is nothing wrong with it. It's wear, a little bit of wear. There's no major issues on the front. The one hope we have is that CGC treats it more kindly when the book has damage on the back, not the front. And even if it doesn't get a particularly good grade, we will still sell it well because it, it's higher grade than average. And it also looks nice for the grade. The front's going to look super nice. It's going to look at eight five. Um, I, I'm going to make a bet with Sean. Sean doesn't think this is going to get a six five. I think it might get a seven. I'm, I'm sort of smoking crack. That's what he says. You're smoking crack, man. But if it doesn't get a six five, there's no justice. Look at it. It's beautiful justice. <laughs> See what I did? Another really spectacular book in this collection. Flash 139. Look at the condition of this. This is such a scarce book in high grade. And this is a hot book too. First appearance of Professor Zoom, Reverse Flash. The front's really nice. The staples are shiny. The book is free of any major damage on the front. There are little bits of wear here and there. But very little. And then on the back, It's a little bit of dirt, you know, that I'll clean off. Um, like 
this is a gorgeous copy of this, but so scarce in this condition, normally like VG range. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that when this has been pressed and cleaned, it's going to get a 9. And I don't see why it shouldn't get a 9 too, really. What is there? It's a tiny little moon-shaped crease up there. It's almost nothing. I don't see anything major. That is a super sharp copy of this book, pretty rare. And then we got Flash 123, Golden Age and Silver Age Flash together. Oh, it's got a, a shame, it's got a little crease there. But this is another book that's always VG. It's got a little stain at the top, but that's appropriate for the grade, which I think is going to be a six. When it's flattened out. This book here is the first appearance of Captain Boomerang, which is, if you ever saw it, it was in the uh, Suicide Squad movie. A nice decent copy of this book, it's worth a couple of hundred bucks. This is a bit needs pressing, look at this. I'm going to show you the side, look at that. Flash 106, unfortunately 105 wasn't in the collection. Pied Piper always makes me think of uh, Silicon Valley, the TV show, it's really funny. If you've never seen that, you should w watch it. Uh, there's a few things going on here. There's a little stain and a kind of ding down there. There's definitely some kind of a creasy thing going on at the top there, and we've seen the corner already, which means on the back, some pretty serious spine stress, because those, those creases don't come from nowhere. But still, another really nice copy. I see this getting a 5.5 five probably. It's going to go in the bag of the board. And we have Detective 298, Clayface. Now, I can't remember why this is a key. I think it's re reappearance of Clayface in the Silver Age, maybe. Please leave a comment under the video. This is the mystery in space I was talking about earlier. It's the uh, JLA crossover. I think it's the seventh or eighth appearance of the Justice League of America. This is not in particularly nice shape, and no one cares about this book. I don't know why I get excited when I see it. It's just kind of I'm kind of geek out on the fact it's a crossover. And now, Showcase 19, Adam Strange, another space cover, reasonable shape, little corner fault there. Oh yeah, here we are, JLA 5. I love this cover with sort of reverse gravity and the first ever good looking Wonder Woman. Oh, just when you thought we couldn't have any more keys in this box. This is JLA, uh, sorry, Brave and the Bold 30, third appearance of JLA. Now again, this book is usually a complete thrasher. This one's decent. It's probably uh, in the fine range. Which means 29 is probably here somewhere. You see, you ask for something, you get it. Summer comic books is awesome. Yep, we have a Brave and the Bold 29, and most of it's got horrendous problems on the back. There's a little stain. This is probably a fine too. That is a nice set, isn't it? 28, 29, 30, all in that same shape. Oh, here, another fantastic book from this collection. It just keeps on giving. Flash 110, first Kid Flash, and Weather Wizard. Again, this, this is, I keep saying this, but these books don't show up in this condition very often. This is what, 1961 or something? And I'm so tired of seeing this book in VG that I almost get bored of asking to see pictures of it, but this is, well, there really isn't a lot wrong with it. There's a tiny little crease on that top left corner on the back. And there's a long, but very, very light fingernail mark or crease. No, that is a crease, it's a fingernail mark. This is going to press really nicely. This could get a 7.5. See, I see it now. And then I think we just got some padding to protect all these nice books with a mystery in space. When I was carrying these boxes out of the car, it was it was raining like crazy all day. And there you go. So, I'm going to get these into bags and boards and then into the box.